Ooh, we had a nice storm system come through yesterday, last night, and this morning. But I tell y'all, I think it turned the green level up a notch. We had one heck of a storm last night and I was worried. I say last night, it was all day, but it didn't wash. It didn't wash the garden. That's what I was afraid look of. At the, look at the, how green it is. Yeah, I know it. I, I mean, it's like every, every rain you get. Look, look, look how big the onions are. Can you see them? Wow. They're starting to. Wow. Me, Carl, come here. Have you seen them? Look at the base of them. Wow. Ain't They're that big. big, aren't they? That's the biggest garlic we've ever had. Yeah, this garlic's huge. Isn't it the biggest we've ever had? Yeah, we didn't, I don't, we never had no stalks that big. Definitely onions. I've never been able to do onions good. Well, you have now. And, and I came in here and I straightened this area up and tilled it and we dumped some uh, chicken coop residue, residue. <laughs> <laughs> shavings and stuff in there and got it all straightened out because this was just blown out by the 10 inches plus much, rain we had. As much rain as we had last night, I'm I'm pretty satisfied. Yeah, I'm satisfied with this. There's no trenches through no. it, but that was rain that you don't get but like every... Three years yeah. or so, yeah. That was a lot of rain it was in a, a short period of time. Look at the green stalk. Oh yeah, they're beautiful. The Those are pansies stalks. which are not going to last in Alabama much longer, but they I don't want to do away with them until we have to. I That's know what right. you're looking at. That duck. There's a duck in the garden. She's not doing any damage. We've been monitoring her. Yeah. <laughs> I think uh, she might actually be helping get that water off that tarp. Her husband's right on the outside of the fence. They, uh, she's been nesting in there in the carrots. And speaking of carrots, we, um, we're gonna harvest them very soon. And then freeze dry them with, the, uh, with our new freeze dryer from Harvest Right. Which I'm stoked about. I am too. I can't wait. Now, if we wouldn't have had that huge storm, our carrots would have been way better. They well, just got covered up and washed away, but we and, still got a mess of them. And not only that, we could be planting our garden this weekend. Oh, yeah, we could, but there's no way. It's too wet. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. What's up, Scott? Oh, your tail. Why did I get you a raincoat? Keep that tail beautiful. May have, may have needed to have been washed. What you think, Nugget? Huh? Your, uh, your musky dime vine's coming out. I hear Tommy. Tommy's officially back in here. You going out, brother? Come on. Y'all look out. Here he come. There he goes. <laughs> If y'all remember, we had put Thomas and the girls in a coop or a pen so we could gather a few turkey eggs, but we back now. We back, ain't we, ladies? Oh, my gracious. I don't know what Mary Carlton made here, but I'm guessing maybe a uh, duck nesting area there, maybe. I hear you, brother. Well, he's on it this morning, ain't he? He's almost as loud as the geese. Oh. All right, where are the ducks at? Here they come. Oh, they're gonna throw them out something over yonder. Oh, gracious. Look at him. Here comes Dale Earnhardt Jr. Woo, he gonna get a speeding ticket for sure today. Boy, you own it, ain't you? This weather got you all riled up. Oh, here he goes. Look, 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 look. <laughs> look at him. <laughs> oh, my gracious. Oh, I once was a turkey, but I lost my strut. Well, you got your strut back now, don't you? Oh, there he goes. I heard him. <laughs> you can hear him running. He was running past the animals, and as he went past them, all they would do is just look up at him and look back down. <laughs> Nugget, why so fast this morning? He's on it this morning. 
Sounds like him and Thomas are excited about that weather this morning, man. I guess they are. Everybody's happy. I don't know if I heard Thomas be that vocal. Yeah, that's right. Springtime. What's up, goat? Hmm? You sharing with Nub? No, not really. <laughs> Alright, Tommy. Tommy said he made it for this morning. Goodness, Tommy. Nugget said hush, Tommy. What'd you find? Okay, so if you missed our podcast the other night, it was on different types of eggs. One of them that we talked about was a soft shell egg. All it is, is it's missing the outer shell. And I just so happened to find this laying on the ground where a chicken had laid a soft shell egg. So that's what it is. It's just the membrane. There's no outer shell on this egg. It's weird because you can just, I mean, you can literally just pull it apart. It is weird. So there's all different types of eggs. Check that podcast out if you're interested in knowing about the different types of eggs. Mary Carl does a good job, in my opinion, of explaining the different types of eggs. She does a really good job on the podcast. I said in the last video, or video before last, that I was trying to slope everything that way. And upon visual, it looked like I had it a little bit higher right now, right here. But I don't think so. Yeah, it's still low right here. Still low right here. But other than that, it's going that way. It is going that way. It just looks like I need to bring some more in and raise this up, yep. and then it should yep. do what it's yep. supposed yep. to. Yep. Yep. And then eventually, when it dries out, we're going to maybe throw some grass seed out, or and some maybe do some gravel or something. Looks like you got a friend. I know it. It was nibbling, hey, baby. nibbling at my legs. Hey. Is that Lemmy? I think it is. She's so sweet. Lemmy is sweet. Or is that Lemmy? I that, don't know. That may be Dillard. One of them was Dillard and one of them was Lemmy. Well, there's Goat. I do know that one. Well, we know who Goat is. For sure. I tell you, the thing about geese that I've noticed, you see how friendly it is. Oh, yeah. Once the ducks get this size, uh -huh. they're done with you. Oh, yeah, and I mean, they separate. They're interested in each other. Yeah. They're not interested in humans. Right, but you can not see. Not geese. You see, Lemmy is very want, interesting. They want loving. Give me, baby. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's see what we have this morning. How many do you think it's going to be? I don't know. Let's see. That's four. Five. And they're all the same color. <laughs> Aren't they? Here we they? go. Here's some different colors. Oh, yeah. That's what we like, isn't it? Yeah. Six. Seven. Seventeen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Eighteen. I had one hidden. Mm -hmm. We got only oh, one. 19. Oh, nineteen. Got a sitter. <laughs> I wish you luck. Oh, she's nice. Twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, that's two dozen. 24. All right, I see a few more. That's Dirty. a duck egg. A duck egg? Uh -huh. I've been seeing a pair in here. Oh, look, there's another one back there. Maybe that's where I saw her laying. That's a duck egg, too. See, I'm at 24. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 31, 32, 32 chicken eggs. That's a lot. Grab those um, Grobteras and we'll give the chickens some Grobtera. Uh-oh. Turkey said yes. Yes for Grobtera. Woohoo! ACDC approves! They like Quiet them. down and see if go to eat out of your hand. I have a Yum. feeling she will. Oh yeah, goat loves them. She looked at you like, thank you! <laughs>
<laughs> look how big our guacamole hosta is. You know, just a video seems like maybe two weeks ago we talked about it, and I swear it's doubled in size. Ain't that right, Tuck Tuck? Somebody asked about pink. I saw pink yesterday. I loved on pink yesterday, but pink's not as uh not as outgoing as Tuck. Pink kind of hides around like a little ninja. But man, look at that hosta. I love hostas. It's one of my favorite plants. But guess who else loves hostas? Chickens. Chickens love hostas. If this hosta was on the ground, there'd be nothing left of it. They'd eat it all. Then that's why I got it planted in this antique urn. Beautiful. Love it. I'm fixing to get you girls some hay. And boys. We're fixing to get all y'all some hay. All right, let's get these goats some hay. Still loving how we did the hay. That worked out so good. Watch this, watch this. Hello. What's up, boo? What's up, girls? What's up? Y'all ready for some hay? Yeah. Now, now, now we got it. Good deal. <laughs> oh. Bootsy lets me love on her over here by the hay rack. Yeah. Get that hay off of you. Yeah. All right, let's go get them old crazy boys. All right, Jojo. Tipper, tipper. And big top. Where are you, top? There you are, buddy. Nuggets mud tires. You got to go through the car wash, man. Yeah. May want to throw some armor oil on them. Keep them from dry rotting. All right, guess how many eggs we gathered. Oh, Take a guess. 26. 32. Oh, wow. And two duck eggs. Oh, wow. One of them was in a nesting box. A duck egg was in a nesting box. Yeah, it's a mystery as to how she got in there, but. Hey, we'll take it. We'll take it. We will take it. Cornbread time. That's right. <laughs> My shirt. Do you got it on today? I do. I have it covered up. <laughs> oh, we got a little sweatshirt fuzz on it. That's all right. Cornbread and collars. Yep. That's what it's about right That's there. That's what it's about. <laughs> Y'all look. He's drying his tail out. He is a mess. Look at him. I've never seen that before. Look at it, how flared out it is. You I might have, not ever see that again. I've never seen him do that before. Oh, man. He's cleaning it up. Look how wet it is. I know it. I saw him earlier this morning. It is soaking wet. He's still beautiful. He is. Nugget. He is cleaning up, though. And Nugget's cleaning you up. He is. <laughs> Make, getting, them, getting them bugs off of you. <laughs> we didn't have a talk. <laughs> Because uh, I don't have. Somebody told me uh -huh. that if I scratch him on his back, he'll uh -huh. lay down. Nugget, Nugget ain't gonna lay down. He likes his neck and stuff. He likes. I kinda, didn't think he would lay down. His throat, neck, and he head area. He's just, Scott, what in the world are you doing? <laughs> Look at how wide he's That's got crazy. it open. I know there's crystal up there looking at him. She's know, dry. Crystal's it. drying off too. Yeah, Crystal's up top. She's doing her printing. She high. is. Scott, <laughs> he looked at me as soon as I said his name. You are looking marvelous, even though you're wet. <laughs> Gosh, he's beautiful. His tail goes almost to the ground, Dyson. It does. This it is literally two and a half foot from the wow. ground. Three foot. Get it, boy. So today we are gonna plan on we're planning on going over to the farm yes. and then go pick some strawberries. Yes. If if they said they was gonna be open today. They said they knew it was gonna rain, so they were extending their hours a little bit yeah. because they had lots and lots and lots of berries that need to be picked. Okay. 
To me, when they say lots and lots of berries, it must be a lot. Must be a lot. <laughs> And so we're gonna go pick some strawberries because we absolutely love fresh strawberries. Well, and we get to use our freeze dry. That's dried. right. I can't wait to try a freeze dried strawberry. He did yeah. a twist. They didn't could it? be snacks. We could even give them as a little treat to Scott. Only one or two though. Yeah. Uh oh. What was that? That's a, a crane flew over. A crane? Look two at of the them. Sun peeking through. It is peeking through. I wish you'd come on out. I do too. I literally thought that I was not gonna have potatoes. Um, I didn't have them last year because it was too wet. This year, when I planted them, it wasn't too wet. But then it just, you know, had that hard. Oh gosh, we had four major storm systems come through here, and one of them was. It was like 10 inches of rain in a certain amount of time. It was rough. But I got all that straightened out, and I looks like I was able to salvage. This row looks awesome. This row looks pretty darn good. And as the further down we go, the rows kind of get okay, but we're anxious to see how the, they work out. I mean, now this area here was starting to dry out. And then we got a huge rain tonight, so that ain't good. Yeah, I'm going to need a water hose. My um, seedlings are doing pretty good these are my tomatoes in eggplants and they need to get in the ground bad oh so i don't know what i'm gonna do yet i actually have started some more inside the house as you guys know and i'm gonna start some more either today or tomorrow i just want a good backup in case these don't do very well Hopefully, hopefully soon in the next couple of weeks we can get those tomatoes and peppers and eggplants planted because this will be pulled up. That area will be ready. That area will be ready. And I got that area over there that will be ready. So, fingers crossed. Here we are headed to the farm. And look at Scott and all his women. Look at how all three of them are gathered around him. I think they're ready to hit your ride. They're coming this way. <laughs> we got to they a, said to the farm we go. A peacock road block. And he's not gonna get out of the way. Beep oh, beep. I don't blame you. Alright, watch this. You ready? Yeah. He ain't gonna do it when he's showing out. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> on back. You just have to. Come on, sir. Come on, Scott. Move out of the way. We got things to do. My gracious. <laughs> I will catch y'all later. Let's load this tractor up. All right, we got her loaded down. Just got her strapped in. Got it chain binded and strapped. Gonna lower the bucket a little bit, and we're off to the farm. Here we are. Here we are. Here we fix the unload the big orange. Then we're gonna go pick up a chicken coop. Yeah. Then we're gonna go come back here and then we're gonna go pick some strawberries. Oh, uh, yes, ma'am. This is Brooke. I was talking to you about the chicken coop. I'm about three and a half miles from you, and I'll be there in just a few minutes. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Going to get a chicken coop. We need one. We need one. We need several. You um found this thing on Facebook, right? Okay, yeah. Yes. On the uh, Facebook Marketplace. If you raise the plastic up, you can get the strap back behind that little door, and it'll help hold it. There you go. They had a pig that looked just like Peaches. Just like her. Guess what her name was? Tell Ellie them. May. Ellie May. <laughs> she uh, she acted like Peaches from yeah. the way they described her. She did. She roams around the area. She said that um, the neighbors know her. 
the neighbors know her and one time the neighbor's dogs had gotten after her and she started staying at home after that happened but the other day she had roamed and came in contact with the dogs again and the dogs were scared of her because she had grown up <laughs> and she didn't but a year old that's funny all right we need some directions to the strawberry pit patch. all right i'm gonna get to the strawberry patch Ooh, look at the car Oh, look at them. Aren't they pretty? They're loaded. I see them. Loaded down. We'll fix to unload them. Okay. Y'all got your boots on because it's a little muddy. Yeah, we got our boots on. You need to get them on. We're here, girl. Wait, girl, this one looks like a hand. <laughs> or a chicken cone. Oh, that's his big. <laughs> that is beautiful. There. That's good. I'm so good. I know why y'all want me to drive. <laughs> They're so good. Y'all want to eat all the strawberries. If y'all mm. eat all those before we get back yeah. to the land, mm -hmm. um, you're going to have a bellyache. Mm. Got a chicken coop and got some strawberries. Ain't nothing wrong with that, is it? Mm -mm. That's what I call perfect day right there. That is a perfect day and the sun is shining. And the sun is shining. I might eat the leaves, too. <laughs> you going to eat the leaves? <laughs> They're so good, she's going to eat the leaves. Oh, gosh. <laughs> so we're going to go back to the land and piddle. Pittle. And then we're going back to the house tonight. We're not going to spend the night. And we're because gonna, we got to... We're going to freeze dry these strawberries. Yeah. What y'all don't eat? Wow, look at them. I have a feeling we might be back before strawberry season's over. I think so, too. I need to figure out how to get back to our place. <laughs> That's right. So this is one of the... We're headed to the barn to see if there's any uh, Brooks friends in there. And... uh we stopped this is the big pear tree on the property and i think this is where the little ones came from but y'all yeah. look at the fruit this thing is slap loaded down i'm talking about i mean look at this it is loaded with fruit wow. everywhere there's a million of them on here there's another dogwood yeah aren't they pretty so pretty i'm gonna tell you something that's for your buddy. He come out right there. He lives back there. Right, that right, hole right there. Is that a hole? Right there. Oh. That's where he comes in and out. Let me show you. Hello. Are you doing that, little friend? It ain't little friend. I'd have give anything. He jumped out. <laughs> Look, here's a little hole. Oh me. I would have died too, though. <laughs> <laughs> no worries, I know you will. You'd be going, ah, 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 ah. You think that's what he would have done? <laughs> Just ain't much light in here. Well, listen. Did you hear something scary in? Listen. Oh, the pipe's knocked over. Is it? Yeah. You see it? Yeah. That's the pipe that I was carrying. Here's your flashlight. <laughs> of course it don't work. Did you see him? Yeah, where is he? May cross an owl in here. He got a nest. Did she hear you? Yeah, you don't hear her running. <laughs> I don't know, but he's straight I ahead. He's right. Oh, she is. Where? Over there in that corner. She's right over in that corner somewhere. Came straight at us. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Look at it, it's a little barn owl. 
little no, screech owl. No, the screech owl. Oh. Hey, baby. It's crazy how silent their wings are. Mm-hmm. You can't hear nothing. She's flying again. See her? She's, she's, she's right down. there in the corner. Look. Video it with your phone. I can't see baby. Let me see your phone. Do you know what you're doing? What is it? Go oh, back there in that corner. I heard one. This is where the rat was. Your daddy's staying way away. Oh, I see it. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Watch your step. Ain't it cute? Watch your step. They are little. Speech apps are very tiny. That's what we had in our backyard that time. Uh huh. It was. <laughs> we had one in our backyard. Here she goes. Hey, buddy. I, I thought it was a bat at first. You scared me to death. I thought it was a flying rat. <laughs> um, I thought it was a bat. I've never seen one. They're so tiny. You see how you can't hear wings? Uh-huh. It's just complete silence. Complete silence. That's how they That's how they um get their laughing. That's how they get their prey. Yeah, the prey can't hear them. They can't hear them at night. So mom's bush hogging before we get home. And she says she wanted us to identify some of these trees before we cut them down, which we know that's a pear. Yeah. So we identified this one, and guess what it is, guys? Tell it's them. It's a persimmon. It's a persimmon. How happy is Peaches going to be? <laughs> She's going to be so happy. Oh, it's two of them. See that one? That I do one. see that, that one. Both of those. Yeah, she's going to be happy. Got her a persimmon tree. Ha, <laughs> ha. All right, so actually this is the next day. We were absolutely exhausted when we got home just last night from working on the farm that we popped our uh, strawberries in the fridge. That's right. And we're fixing to cut them up and get them ready to go in our new freeze dry machine from Harvest Right. All right, first thing we're gonna do is wash them. Okay. So, Let's just take us a few of them. We're not sure how many it's going to take to fill up four trays. So we're just going to do a few at a time and wash them off. And we could have saved time when we got home last night, cut them up and popped them in the freezer. Honestly, we were too, we were tired, just too to tired to do that. We were so tired. So you can do it this way. It just takes a little bit longer. Right. Think about like that. I think it looks good. Maybe four slices. I think four slices. This is going to be an experiment. So the first time will be. Right. We'll know if we need to go thinner next time or thicker. But this will be our starting point. They're beautiful strawberries. They are beautiful strawberries. And Mary Carl almost ate them all on the way home. <laughs> Just kidding. She ate a bunch of them. She did eat a bunch of them. I don't think it gets much simpler than this, this is to easy. have strawberries during the strawberry off season. And you want to go ahead and put these on a tray? Yeah. All right, we've got them all cut up, ready to roll. It was, uh, was it a whole basket? Pretty much? One and a half. Wow. So, and this is the medium size machine, which we get four trays. And the, I'm it, I didn't think it was going to be that much. I thought it was going to be half that. I didn't think it was going to take near this many. Right. But that's good. That just means we'll have more for later. That's right. That's awesome. So now we're going to load them up in the machine. All right. So here is our Harvest Right freeze dry machine. Uh, this thing is pretty easy. Load it up. All right. Load it up. We got four trays in. Four trays in. Then we're going to lock it down. I mean, this thing looks like a something. Space it, age. Space age. Look how thick that pixie glass is. Now, what this thing does is that it's going to freeze to negative 40, and then it pulls all the moisture out by using this vacuum pump. And it usually takes anywhere from 15 to 24 hours to do a batch, depending on what you're doing and how much water content is in 
your freeze drying. Now what makes freeze drying awesome is, is that you hardly lose any flavor you, and you hardly lose any nutritional value. And there's no frostbite. You don't have to worry about that. Plus, if you store it properly, it will last up to 25 years. That is amazing. Isn't that crazy? I can't wait. <clears throat> I mean, I was, I'm totally new to this process. But I know one thing. I hate canning. <laughs> so, I'm, you know, I mean, I wouldn't can strawberries anyway unless right. I made jam or jelly out of it. But to be able to take vegetables this summer right. and take their original state and yeah. change it into something we can use five years from now is awesome. Here's the thing that gets us with canning. And, and I know people out there love to can. But canning just for us takes up so much time. You, by the time you get your stuff clean and washed, it's usually in the evening times because we work all during the day. You gotta you're get tired the, by that. You're time. tired. You gotta get that pot of water boiling. Any next thing you know, we've been canning for three or four hours, and it's one o'clock in the morning. And then you gotta get up the next day and right. start all over again, and that's just not feasible for us. So I think. This is going to be a game changer. For us, absolutely. For us. I mean, even if you do love to can, right. it can still... Oh, yeah. It can still benefit you in lots of different ways. But um, in, in our sense, it's going to take out that canning. We, right. we can preserve our food without having to... It's basically a set it and forget it kind That's of thing. That's exactly what it's like. Now, if we, now of course, we couldn't make jams, no, start no, no. a jam out of this. But we can preserve these strawberries to and where we, can we can use them, use them later. later. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. All right, next Show thing we're going to do. Show me what to do. We're going to hit that start button. Are you ready? I'm ready. Is it going to blow up? It's not going to blow up. It's not frozen. It, the, the, uh, it's going to drain over here. And this is how, when it gets through, you'll drain any water because the ice in here will melt if there's any and you'll drain it right there so you want to make sure that valve's closed because this is a closed system and it's going to create a vacuum and that's how it pulls all the water out of it well it's so, not very loud i was kind of thinking that it might uh, you know interrupt even our sleep habit during the night but so he continued and it's freezing cool beans and then this will take i don't know how long but once it gets to its the um maximum then the pump's gonna cut on and it's gonna start pulling the moisture out of it um this we have set up in our den just simply because we're out of space in right. the kitchen area but um i mean i don't care if it produces food then it can go in my bedroom <laughs> that's right we're we're used to using our whole area in our that's house that's right we got we you just pan on <laughs> we got our guys. seeds right here that are in seed starting trays so i mean this is this is just par for the course. This it does have a timer on it, so you'll know how long it's been going. Yep. All right. I'm stoked. <laughs> Mika, you can come join in on that, too. She's sitting over here just watching. She, she's thinking about them strawberry chips we're going to have. Because that's what it's going to be like. That is awesome. It's going to be an awesome snack. I can't wait. Then, look, we can make strawberry bread, strawberry muffins. Well, let's just get off strawberries all together. I mean, we can do... Strawberry shortcakes. Well, not even just strawberry. We can oh, do yeah. everything. Yeah, yeah. I'm curious because you can do eggs. I'm curious about the eggs. I want to go over to our friend Laura. Yeah. Simply Making It. Yeah. And um, our, we don't have a goat in milk, so I'd like to milk one of her goats and bring some milk home and freeze dry it and mm -hmm. just see how it works. Yeah, me too. And the milk will turn to powder. That's pretty cool. Because it pulls all the moisture out. And that's the problem for people that have milk goats is they have too much. Have too much milk. And you don't want to waste it. Mm -hmm. your, your girls have gone to a lot of trouble to produce that milk, and you've gone to a lot of trouble to milk the goat. So that's going to be interesting to me to see how, yep. how that works. All right, so they are finished. And let me tell you guys, these things are good. It's like if they're the weight of styrofoam and they taste just like they did fresh. I'm talking about just like it. Let me tell you how much I like them. It's almost like a... This is how much I like them. You went and bought more. I went and bought more and we have another <laughs> tray ready to go in. 
They're so good. The flavor is what kills me. I mean, they're just as intense as they are fresh. All right, so we're gonna put these in mason jars because we're gonna use these pretty quick. If um, if we wouldn't, say we wanted to store these for a long time, we would put them in these Mylar bags that Harvest Right has, and we would heat seal these with the sealer. And we would put one of these oxygen absorbers in that bag, and this would last like 25 years. But we're gonna eat these pretty quick, so there's no need of us putting them in these Mylar bags right now. Gosh, they're good. You know, you could just make, put this in like muffin batter or- I'm gonna try that. Or breads or, you could even make strawberry shortcakes out of them. The, the consistency's like that of cereal marshmallows. Yeah, it is. That's what it reminds me of. I'm gonna eat a whole tray of them if I don't watch it. Oh yeah. Yeah. Doesn't take up a lot of space. Uh uh. Look how pretty. Oh. Well. That one's left. <laughs> it is pretty. Doesn't take up much space. Uh uh. They're delicious. Mmm. They're so good. Hey guys, if you are interested in that Harvest Strike freeze dry machine, there's a link down below. And remember, if you do use our link, we get a small commission at no extra cost to you. And it does help our channel out. And stay tuned for more stuff in that machine because we got some carrots coming up and some other stuff. So y'all stay tuned and y'all be good.